your hands, everybody. Everybody, clap your hands. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Careful, that's bad for the baby. I know that's bad for the baby. Hello and welcome to Views Cantina. Today I'm going to show you how to make a not so pregnant or cloudy. <laughs> You guys are hilarious. Cloud is not pregnant, okay? You guys are really, really pushing it and you're really funny. But today, <laughs> let me tell you what we're making. You guys have heard me talk about the old Cloudy for my bartending days and today it's gonna happen. Um, before we get started, I wanna let you know if you want a virgin drink, it's gonna be in the description area along with your alcoholic beverage, but we're gonna start uh, virgin drink first and then I'll let you guys know when it's gonna get more of an adult drink, yeah? Let's do it. You're gonna need some ice, and yes, I'm gonna use my hands. This is my kitchen, my home. I'm okay with using your hands. Everybody's Living okay. It. <laughs> Girl, the oil that comes off of these hands is amazing. Yes. Tiene todo el sazón. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, for my friends, this one is gonna be an optional because I want you to enjoy drinks and sometimes when you're bootleg like I've been, you don't always have the supplies you need. So that's why I say make it comfortable for your home. So what you're gonna need is some orange juice or peach juice. If you can get a hold of that, what is it, Kearns? Is that what that one's called? Kearns? That one in a can? Girl, I don't know. Oh my God, there was this peach juice in a can or what is it, the um, the Humex? Yeah, those are good. The Humex peach, get a hold of that. Like 10% juice, but they're delicious. <laughs> They are really good. It's still better than soda. You're gonna need some of your pineapple juice. There is no substitute for a good pineapple juice. We're gonna do a few drops of our blue food coloring because honestly, there's no way to make a non-alcoholic hypnotic. There is just no way, this is perfect. I would never even want to replicate it. I can't believe I'm making this virgin drink. <laughs> so put a few drops of that and we are gonna, it's what are we gonna do? Mix. We're gonna shake it off, shake it off. Oh, oh, shake it off, shake it off. Ahí les va. Wow, this part under is a little rusty. Or as my goddaughter would say, you're being rusty. You ready? I, 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 let me bring out my pouring. Somebody wants me to get all magical here and it's just me, guys. I'm making your drink. How about that? Now, it wouldn't be a no cloudy without a few little marshmallows on here. and put as many marshmallows as you want. Now, since my sister is not pregnant, she's gonna have the virgin drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that helps dispel the rumor. Seriously. Girl, I'll drink this one. You're gonna drink the alcoholic one today, okay? That's what we're gonna do. This one's gonna be for me. Let me give you guys a good taste. Well, it doesn't dispel the rumor because some people drink when they're pregnant. <laughs> we were talking about that last week. Oh, this is so good. It's bright and it's so good. Now, let's get this party started. That's how you make your virgin drink. Friends, we're about to start making an alcoholic beverage. If you're not of age, you don't have to watch this. I do encourage everybody not to drive, drink responsibly, and have a good time. Don't hurt anybody's feelings. Don't overshare your comments, your personal thoughts. Those are your personal thoughts. Keep them to yourself. Sounds good? Yeah. Now we're ready to drink. I think that's usually what ends up what ends up uh, hurting people's feelings, right? People will get over sherry when you drink. Just have a good time, laugh it off. Don't be so judgy. Just dance. Judgment is not good for you. It's like, I think um, all the reality TV has made it to where everybody thinks they're a critic. You're not. <laughs> There's people that are highly trained to critique. I have a friend that's always critiquing things and I always find a way before she even starts, I say, everybody's a critic these days. And she's like, yes, I know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tone it down. <laughs> well, we all have friends. I think within every group you have the friends that there's the know-it-all, there's the critiquer, and there's the I don't give up. Yeah. You know, and I'm the I don't give up. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's who you are, cool, We're, we can hang out. Yeah. I know how to like function with you. Like I actually, like from the Krabby Batty video, I actually had 
a really good friend that was just like that Krabby Patty video and you would never imagine both of us hanging out together and mm -hmm. it's just whatever. She really was just like that. She was just <laughs> like that. There was a lot of inspiration. Everybody's that came special from that. in their own way. Just let's okay. each other. So I'm going to be using uh, peach schnapps today, but if you guys have a little bit of triple sec, you can use that as well. I don't want you guys to feel obligated to go buy it, but Cloud's going to tell you to go buy, go buy the it. peach schnapps <laughs> and the triple sec. But we're going to keep it with peach. Oh, it smells so good. This smell gives me butterflies in my stomach. It reminds me, ooh, I kissed the bottle. <laughs> and I liked it. <laughs> it reminds me of my bartending days. I had so much fun. Like, but you did, didn't Is that actual alcohol or is it? Yes, it does contain alcohol. Oh, okay. Quit playing, Cloud. Well. So, we're going to add our peach schnapps. You guys are going to turn me into a borracha again. Okay? That's not yours, that's mine. Well. I'm gonna give it a taste just to make sure that it's good. Because apparently I'm with child too. <laughs> we both are. It's what like, sucks is like, I don't even get to take a baby home. <laughs> I know. You know what's funny? I love kids. It's because I don't think people understand, like when you get heavy set, I told you guys, go to my Wyoming videos if they're still up, maybe about two years ago. Uh -huh. I was pushing a lot of weight then, but it's easy for me to drop it when I put my mind to it. But what I'm saying to you guys is that when you get, you go through like chapters, you lose, like if you're losing within the 10 pounds of what you want to lose, your five pounds, all of a sudden you're going to feel so slim. And then the other five pounds you have to like um, sweat off. <laughs> Those you start feeling heavy again, your mind plays tricks on you. So just be patient with yourself. It's bound to happen. Well, I'm under medication. Hopefully this is going to end soon and I can just get back to my normal healthy self, you know? That's why well, you should never judge anyone. You don't know what kind of health journey they're on or what's going on with their... Hey, if I if I had to say Her that bodies. um you're officially not pregnant with the amount of alcohol I just put in yours. <laughs> Hypnotic, what's up? You have a great product. I love it. <laughs> Let me read to you guys what this is because it has a fruit juice smell, but it's a mixture of vodka and cognac. So when you think that you're just enjoying the tropics with your old cloudy, let me tell you, watch the F out. Because this is strong. If you guys have had the um, Alizé and all of a sudden you're like, what happened to me? I didn't yep. wake up. This is what's going to happen. So please drink responsibly. This stuff is strong. I know when I went to the bar and I was like, I'm tired of having all the same basic drinks that everybody else orders. Can you make me something for myself? Or you asked me all kinds of questions like, what are you into? What kind of alcohol? It was like a hacker like, survey. I know it was. I was like, <laughs> what? Um, and you and I said I need something to knock me on my feet, but I want it to look cute and fluffy and cloudy and, and lovely. And that's where it came from, the old cloudy. The and old cloudy. People would see me ordering it when I would go and hang out with you. And then what are you drinking? No cloudy. So all of a sudden, my sister's like bartending coworker started getting requests for the old cloudy. And I'm like, how do you make it? I'm like, I'll make it for you real quick. <laughs> yeah. No, but it, it was, and then all of a sudden, my bar's like, how come we're running out of pineapple juice? Oh, doorbell. Sorry, we were rudely interrupted by our um, delivery person. They love us. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, our our bar like manager was like, how come we're running out of pineapple juice? Because before <laughs> like they had the Costco like case of small pineapple juice and it would last forever. All of a sudden the old cloudies came around and pineapple juice was going like this. And I'm like, because I'm selling old cloudies. I'm like, look at our look at our register. And I'm like, because the shots were like five dollars or so. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, we'll take it easy. I'm like, how do you want me to take it easy on the best You're seller? You're making money. I mean, and I, I was inviting all my coworkers, and I worked for a pretty sizable corporation. I yeah. invite all of them. Well, I would see them on Friday nights when yeah. we would play <laughs> the best uh, rock in español. So I would invite them, and then I would invite like family members, my in law, like everybody that I knew was at that bar. Well, you know what? It's because <laughs> it was in the downtown area, and. Um, the owner was trying to sell his bar in that particular space for three hundred thousand yeah. dollars, and nobody wanted to buy it. But their bar was like vintage looking. It was, it was like it's beautiful. It was amazing. So it turns out with one of the um, bars that we had upstairs, somebody dropped a glass and they smashed it on the on the bar, and the dude oh, was like, that. "No way!" Yeah, that's crazy. That's where I cut my my finger. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't have like any filling in the middle of my finger because when I had to do the uh, takeover upstairs for that bar, which I mm -hmm. hated. Um, that was a VIP room, wasn't it? That was a VIP room with Bone Thugs and Harmony Girl and a <laughs> bunch of celebrities and stuff. It was pretty cool. But um, I ended up grabbing one of the cups because they just brought you the cups by trays. There wasn't even anything you can wash up there. It was that bootleg. But um, I grabbed it and then it sliced. It was one of the shot glasses. It sliced my finger. You had all kinds of celebrities in that bar. They were you know who went there? 
What? Um, J Lo's ex man, uh, Chris Judd. Oh yeah, that's true. And it was just weird to me to be a celebrity and not tip. Okay, well let's move on. Let's move on because yeah, maybe you know what I like. But celebrities have other people handle their bills. Yeah, I, think I was that's just what about happened. to tell you because I, I I worked with some high profile executives and they we they never. Not me, but like they, I always see them hand their credit card to like the executive assistant mm -hmm. and they always take care of the bill. We were just happy he was there, girl. Yeah, like we went, we went He was to a New very, very handsome guy, very nice too. We went to a New York restaurant and it was like, you know, it was upscale and pricey. And then I look over and tell my boss, I'm like, dude, I'm like, this is going to be at least like $30,000 for our group. And he's like, don't worry about it. He's like, just order whatever you want. And I was like, um, okay. So I ordered whatever I wanted. So when the waitress came over, I said, hey, hand me the bill first and I'll pass it down to the responsible party because I was at the end. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, okay. And Mike, Mike was like, you're such a turd. And I was like, I wanted to guess how much it was. So she hands us the bill and I can see the CEO looking at me like, no, you better hand me that booklet, whatever. So we quickly peeked at it. Girl, it was $45,000 for a group. Oh, and I just like closed it immediately and said, this is for this you. This is for you. <laughs> Oh man, but you've been in, you've been in areas like in New York where things get really pricey. It's like going to um, the the clubs here in Vegas, like a table. That's insane. And for me, it's like it's not that I. It's not insane. It's worth every penny. Yeah, like, yeah You get yeah. quite the show if you're ever at a table here. In, in but before Vegas. I eat, I'm always grateful, and I'm like, oh my gosh, the little brown me would never think that I would ever get to experience these. Like, when I was young, I never thought about these mm -hmm. things. Even like as I was going through my career, I never was like. Oh, I'm in it because I want these perks. It was more like, oh, I'm kind of grateful to be here. Yeah. Like with good company and good food, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what it turns out to be. I think when the boys are older, I'm yeah. probably going to be like that. I'm going to be like, hi, kids. I'm going to be, they're like, why is this old lady here? Because I want to. But I was also <laughs> that lady like standing outside the food carts in New York. <laughs> I would drive my coworkers. I'm like, we are going to eat today. We like, all know we better not mess with your tacos. <laughs> exactly. All right, friends. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your, your hypnotic. A little bit of your pineapple juice. You guys know we start talking and it's this is what it's like to be. We forget the cameras on. Sorry mm -hmm. guys. You need a little bit of pineapple juice. And for this one you don't need peach or orange juice because we already have our peach drink. Now we're gonna go ahead and shake it up. And this one you want to shake it up really well so that if you have really good ice cubes you break them down as much as you can, okay? Is that why the drink's cold like super cold from start to finish? Well, have you ever uh, flown on an airplane? Obviously, you have. You fly a lot. But if you guys ever flown on an airplane, you know how cold it gets up there I'm with the clouds. Like, you you're like, no, because you're already going to be away <laughs> for work soon. Um, <laughs> you're like, no. But it gets cold, like, you know, cabin pressure, all these things. So whenever I made your drink, that's what I had in mind. Like, cold, gentle, yet breezy, cloudy. Oh. I started on this madre que ahorita va a ser wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> Some people would like that. Notice my shaking is very minimal <laughs> right now, but you guys at home do it a good shake. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna need a little more ice. Actually, no. Okay. That's a lot of ice in there, girl. Hmm? Huh? My skills are so rusty. I don't think so. Girl! Let me see what he wants. Get your man in order. <laughs> yes, go with the puedo ayudar. Hola, mijo. Oh, thank you. Babe, I'm in the middle of making. No. <laughs> Hi, hola. Hi. Let's see if you can What am I making? What am I making? Really? You know what? You know you're what? You're embarrassing me. This is you're really, not my husband right now. This breaks my heart, Robert. I thought we were we were best buds, best bros, like from the man that only drinks. Hey, you're making it all cloudy. Say it right. Say it right. Say it right. Cloudy. Okay. Oh, cloudy. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. Okay. Well, I'm in the middle of making drinks. No, it's chingando. Okay, love you. Sorry, I had, I had a quick break before I head back to work. So. Aww. Aww. Bye. 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 Message, message me when you're off. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.
<laughs> el incredible, el incredible Hulk. Mira, el incredible. It's such a, el incredible Hulk. It's such a guy thing, right? You guys always think it's the Hulk. Ya les di el Hulk raspado. He got, he got on a second guess, so that's good. Yeah, he really did. Okay, now let's go ahead and I'm gonna keep all the icing. Oh my gosh. And that is my actual favorite color in the whole wide world. Yep, and I, are we Ming or are we Ming? Me. <laughs> I've popped marshmallows like you guys are popping dollars. <laughs> <laughs> marshmallows are your favorite, are they not? Yeah. Our mom used to catch us when I was young with bags of marshmallows. Oh, Just girl, sure. take me to Puerto Nuevo. Let's go have some drinks, girl. Si, si, si. Una probadita porque no nos quiero asustar. Le van a dar al, al CPS for my unborn baby. Look at my big old straw I'm giving you. I like big straws. I know you do. Salud, mija. Sorry, I was so thirsty. I just went for it. Mmm. Can you pick your marshmallow? Por eso estamos como estamos. That's why you guys think we're pregnant. Mm-hmm. I guess you can see the side view. There is no pregnancy here. Maybe. I know. Like, you guys just see. It's because I have big breasts. Obviously, and it hangs back here with mm -hmm. my... All women have that. You guys see big breasts, you're gonna have that skin in the back. Don't let anybody fool you that it doesn't, it does. So. Querían ver cuerpo, aquí está. Pero te dijeron que estás embarazada por las chichis. This is so good, thank you so much. I'm out of here. Bam! 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 Bye. Make it comfortable for your home. Bam! 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 You guys, I'm not gonna lose my cool. I'm still having a lovely time here with you guys. I really enjoy so the good. views cantina. Like this is gonna be a weekly thing. All right, friends, enough with my shenanigans. Listen up, on the days where you guys are just fed up with drinking, I need to hear you guys only on the views cantina video because if you guys tell me you need hangover remedies, we're gonna call it views cantina hangover remedy and I have quite a few that are gonna help you out. Mm -hmm. How do I know? Because I was a bit of a lushy in my early 20s. Not, I don't think you were. Let's you, you were just girl. I partied time. like nobody's business because I just you hear people saying, "Oh, make sure to get everything out of the way before you have kids. Make sure you sleep." You really did. No, I slept way too much. I shouldn't have never listened to that advice. The more you sleep, the more you feel you're missing out on. So I don't like sleep anymore. And then the other one is um, party it up and drink so you're not missing out. I partied. I don't miss out on anything. No, because we still party here. <laughs> yes, I am a party itself. You party with me, I party with you. We all party together. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that means, you know, grilling up in your own house, making your own drinks. Yes, you know, I, I really, stuff. I don't need that much social stimulation. And the one that I do get, I get it from you, lovely people. Aww. I love you guys. You guys are so amazing. I want to thank you so much for joining me today on Views Cantina on Wednesdays. We drink, all right? So let me know if you guys like this drink. All the details and measurements are gonna be in the description area for you. Again, I will repeat, you don't have to have so much alcohol to enjoy a good cocktail. So you can go from one ounce to three ounces and take it easy on this one because I didn't read it to you guys before I go. It is a hypnotic liqueur. A refreshing blend of premium French vodka, exotic fruit juices, and a touch of cognac. Product of La France. Girl, you put half that, a quarter of that bottle in my drink. You're a genie in a bottle, baby. Come, come, come on. <laughs> she wants you to let her up. <laughs> Girl. I I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Adios. Te corté porque me quiero empedar. Dude, how good is that? That's delicious. Amazing.